Hi everybody, it's me, Jenny, and it's book time. <laughs> I cannot help it, guys. I am like a little girl on Christmas morning when it comes to polka doodles. Oh my gosh, like I, I know that there's probably something seriously wrong with me, and that's okay. <laughs> I'm good with it. All right, so this is gonna be somewhat of a quick video, but a lot of work went into this. So what I decided to do, and I'm sorry I cannot stay away from these ladies. I always come back to my rubies and my winnies, but I wanted to do, okay, so a while, while back in my stash, I had um, gotten this die that you can make a book out of. Um, like an open book is really was the point of it. I, I'm assuming I have no idea. But anyway, um, I did it in like the LOL girls and some cute other little things. And I, I've really been wanting to do them again. And I knew that I had a polka doodles video coming up and I thought, oh my God, why didn't I do this with Winnie or the Rubies or any of the other polka doodle girls? So I thought, oh my God, okay, perfect opportunity. So I made two books and I am going to share them with you. And the girls that I used are this one, as you will see, and where is she? I don't see her. Oh, she's covered up down here, but I don't know why. But anyway, it's the um, Ruby Polka Doodles topper sheets. They're four printed topper sheets, die cut at home or cut with scissors. The choice is yours. And they come pre-colored and it's amazing. So Nikki, who owns Polka Doodles and does all of the artwork herself, is such an amazing colorist and artist and everything. So she colors these absolutely stunningly, and you don't have to. So <laughs> that's a great thing because my coloring needs a whole lot of work. So I'm going to show you the very first one I made, and I fell in love with it. So are you guys ready? So here it is. Here's my book. Isn't she pretty? <laughs> And again, I will leave, um, it's just the one thing, um, but I will leave the topper sheets in the description bar below. Um, but yeah, so I made the book and it was basically, this is Winnie Goes to Paris. So I used the paper pack from Michael's from, um, it was, I think two years ago, this paper pack came out, but I love it so much. I, I hoarded it forever and then I was just unbelievably blown away to be gifted the um, paper pad so of course I'm trying to use it as much as I can so I put her here and I'm I don't know if you'll get it but I'm trying to tell the story when Ruby goes to Paris so of course you've got your pretty blings and your flowers and then you turn this one and then there's a mirror I tried oh god guys this was such a disaster I tried to put like the image of her face in here and that that's another thing I want to say. So even if you get the printables, I really believe you should have the stamp set as well in your stash because if I would have had her in a stamp set, I could have done everything I wanted to do. But because I only had the toppers, I really couldn't do and put her where I wanted to because I only have a few left of her. You know what I'm trying to say? I, I just think it would have been, it's very smart if you do do the um, the toppers to do a stamp set along with it. And usually, I'm almost positive that there are stamp sets of the Ruby Girls. Um, uh, and if there are, I will definitely leave them in the description bar below. But anyway, so I wanted to do, but I couldn't. So I found this and I thought it was perfect. Very chic, very ooh la la, <laughs> very patty. <laughs> So anyway, so that's the second one, and then you turn it again, and of course the high heel shoes, because every girly girl needs to have her high heel shoes, and then just a gold, um, you know, hearts and, and frills and thrills, and then Paris is the city of love, so of course I had to do the heart with the word love and gold, and then you have to get dressed up and be chic and super fabulous in Paris, right? <laughs> So this side, you turn it, and then you have the perfume, Paris, City of Love, Push for Scent. I thought that was so cute. 
Um, and then a mailbox. So when you want to mail your, um, you know, your, your postcards home, you can. And then again, another love. And then you have that, you know, the big clock that you see. I don't know where you see it, but it's somewhere in Paris. I've never been. Um, and then here's the other place where I wanted to put her. I wanted to put her in the hot air balloon. Um, and then, you know, she's going off on her last adventure before she goes home. <laughs> so I just thought this was super sweet. And then I did this. Um, and I did it like this so that if the recipient wants to take this off and use it any other way or use it on something else, she more than can or he more than can. And then this is just like the, the bookmark page. So I just thought it was super cute. And in the back, it's just very plain. There's the ribbon. Um, you can put your stamp here or write your name or whatever. And I just thought this was so super sweet. So that's the first one. I, and like I said, I did two. So here's the second and last one. Last but not least. This one, okay guys, so both of these are very me. This is very girly and cutesy and frilly. And then the next one I think is just simple, um, beautiful. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, oh my God, look at this. <laughs> so I, I called it Ruby's Garden. OMG, isn't it gorgeous? And then here, instead of doing dangles and stuff, I did like a loop. So if they want to hang it or... Um, you know, however they want to use it when they get it, that's fine. So I, I use this beautiful, beautiful Ruby girl. Um, I cut out some, um, butterflies and birds and then I stickled the crud out of them. I had some of these flowers in my stash, so I cut them out, hot glued them on. And I just love, I mean, just this I think is gorgeous. So then of course you go through the pages and here's a rose with a cute little stem stickled of course <laughs> and then on this one you just have some flourish and then you have um you know potted flower play is that so pretty i love the way that came out and then of course you need sunglasses and they need to be fabulous <laughs> so, you know me i had to put something cute in there somewhere so i put the sunglasses there and then just roses on the end and the paper is from prima and I love it because it's just flowers and it's um, butterflies and it's pink and it's just gorgeous. I love it. It's stunning. So then this side, you open it and again, here's another flower thing and I put stickles on that one and then you flip it in more um, flourish and then another flower and then another um, flower pot with the little things and then this I thought was so cute. So it's um, Ruby's water can. So she has her tools for her gardening and I just thought this was so super super adorable so leave me a comment guys let me know what you guys think I love hearing your opinions and your suggestions and what you guys would do um, I'm telling you these girls and like I said I, I kind of I could kick myself in the rear end because if I had more I would have put them throughout the entire book but I really didn't think about it but I really wanted to use these two so I did um, and I tried to make it all about them so I, I hope you guys get it I hope you guys like it I love making these books these are so fun I think I've made four or five maybe even six of them like a while back when I had first gotten it so I am just going to just start making up storms of them <laughs> with my rubies and my winnies because I think they're so perfect. And the winnies, I can just, because um, I have the dies, I can just die cut them and just make tons of them. So I will definitely do that and I will show you them. I will come back on and show you the ones that I make with them. But I got these done and I wanted to come on and show you guys um, because I love them and, and I really hope whoever receives it will love it too. So again, let me know what you guys think in the, the um, comment section. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you aren't a subscriber, please subscribe. We would all love to have you in the family. We're all a little kooky and wacky, but we have fun. <laughs> and um, if you want to share the video, that would be great. And if you don't want to miss a video, make sure you hit the bell and then um, click on the word all. But anyway, guys, I love you all. I hope you had a phenomenal weekend. Oh my God, it was so hot here. It, I mean, it, I think today it reached 102. Uh, like literally reached 102 and the real fuel was like almost 107 or eight, they said. It was just disgusting. Uh, the, and the air conditioning, we have central air. And I think, um, 
it stayed at like 85 like the house was not cooler than 85 it was okay because there was no humidity but oh my god guys it was hot but anyway so i hope you're not melted <laughs> and then wherever you are if you're freezing i hope you can warm up um but yeah so i just i hope you have a great start to your week i love you guys don't forget to leave me a comment i would love to talk to you and let me know what you think of the books and the Ruby Girls. And again, I would love to hear what you think. All right, guys, have a great one. I will see you in my next video. Bye.